Hi, this is Mrs. Robertson. Today we're going to go over the correct answers for quiz number three, fourth nine weeks. Okay, we'll be doing quiz number four soon, and it's very similar to this. So let's make sure everyone knows how to do these problems. In problem number one, when you add the numbers together, you should have 9,394. Check to make sure that's what you have. When you make your nines, make your nines close. Some of you make your nines look like sevens or your sevens look like nines. Make sure you write them neatly. In number two, you have to borrow from the nine. It turns into an eight. And then you finally can have that turn into a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 9 is 0. 8 minus 2 is 6. You need to have 6,042 on your answer blank. Problem number 3. You multiply first by the 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry a 1. 6 times 8 is 48. Plus 1 is 49. Put down a 9. Carry a 4. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 is 36. You're going to multiply by the 5, but there's one number after the 5. Add a place value 0. Now multiply by the 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Put down a 0. Carry a 1. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. Put down a 1. Carry a 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. Add the numbers together. And you have 26,796. In the next problem, you're multiplying three digits times three digits. Now we're ready for problem number four. You multiply by the six. Six times one is six. 6 times 7 is 42. Put down a 2, carry a 4. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 4 is 34. You do not multiply by the 0 because everything will be 0. You multiply by the 3. There are two numbers behind the 3, so I will put in two places zeros before I multiply by the 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. Carry a 2, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. You should have 174,726 for your answer. Any questions? All right. I see some of you are not writing down the right things. You're not writing down anything. Some of you are drawing on your paper or making little marks. Make sure you write down how to get the problem correct. That is your job. Number five. In problem number five, 56 is dividing 1,568. How many 56s are in a 1? None. In 15? None. In 156? It'll be 2. 2 times 156 is going to be 112. You put 112 underneath it. Subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. Bring down the next number. We're on problem number 5 on the front side of the paper for those of you that are on the back. I believe you missed it, so please fix it. How many 56s will go into that? I know it's going to be more than two. I'm going to try eight. 56 times eight. Six times eight is 48. Put down an eight. Carry a four. 40 plus four is 44. It works perfectly. The answer is 28. Any questions?
Problem number six. There is a decimal in the dividend. So you put it straight up. Because there's not one in the divisor, you can put it straight up. How many fours are in an eight? Two. Two times four is eight. Subtract. Bring down. Now this is where some of you messed up. I bring down the two. How many fours are in a zero? Two. Zero. This is where you. some of you didn't put a zero there. Subtract. Bring down. How many fours are in a 24 six? It's two dollars and six cents. 2.06. Any questions? That the zero was the tricky part on that one. Am I going too fast for you, Landon? Well, then write this stuff down. It will be on video. If you get behind, you can always watch the video. Of means to multiply. So you're going to have two thirds times 42 over three. Or, excuse me, over one. You gently pick it up and put a one under it. Two times 42 is 84 over three. That will simplify to 28. But if you had 84 over three, I count it correct. But it will simplify to 28. Number eight. Everyone should have gotten this one right because they have the common denominator. Nine eighths. You just add the numerators. When you add or subtract, the denominators have to be the same, and it was already the same. And you could have simplified to one and one eighth. Any questions? In number nine, when you divide fractions, you keep, change, flip. Three fourths times two over one, six fourths. So you could have six fourths. That would be one and two fourths. And the final simplified answer would be one and a half. If you had any of those answers, I count it correct. In this one, five twelfths minus three twelfths, the denominator is the same. So you can just subtract and you get two twelfths, which equals one sixth. If you have two twelfths or one sixth, I will count it correct. If you have two twelfths and you say it equals one twelfth, I have to count it wrong because you don't know the difference. Two twelfths is not the same thing as one twelfth. It's one sixth. Okay? Any questions on the front side? All right, we did that in five minutes, and I did not go fast. It didn't take that long to do those 10 problems. So now let's go to the back. Are we ready? Here we go. Change it to an improper fraction. Four times one is four, plus three is seven. Gently pick the two and put a one underneath it. You have to change them to improper fractions. Multiply. You will have 14 over four. If you have that, that would be counted right. That is the same thing as 3 and 2 fourths, which is the same thing as 3 and 1 half. Those are the answers. In number 12, you're going to have 3 halves. You multiply, add, and put it on top times 5 thirds. You will have 15 over 6. That will simplify to 2 and 3 6 or 2 and 1 half. Any questions? This one a lot of you missed. When you borrow from the 4, you, you have to remember you change it to a 3. 3 and 2 halves. Does everyone see that? Two halves minus one half is one half. Three minus one is two. The answer is two and one half. Any questions? Keep, change, flip. Fifteen ninths. That is the same thing as one and six ninths 
which is the same thing as one and two thirds. Any questions? Number five, you line up your decimal points. One and twenty-two hundredths. Any questions? Number 16, the seven, we'll put the decimal point behind it, we'll go under the three and 0 0.85. Now I'm adding all three of those numbers together. You can put zeros in the empty spots to help you. 14, carry a one, don't forget your decimal point, and you have 11 and 40. 500. Several of you did not put your 7 in the right spot. That's why you missed that one. Number 17. You are subtracting. Line up your decimal points. You can put a 0 in the empty spot. 1 minus 0 is 1. 9 minus 3 is 6. And the answer is 0 and 61 hundredths. Or you could just have 61 hundredths. Number 18, whole number 6 minus 1.25. Think of it as $6 minus $1.25. Borrow from the 6, it turns into a 5, that turns into a 10. Borrow that from that, turns into a 9, so that can be a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 6. Don't forget your decimal point. And it's four and seventy-five hundredths. Any questions? Number 19. Six times seven is forty-two. We are multiplying, but there's a decimal point. How many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem? One. You can't put forty-two. It's four and two tenths. In number 20, if you have 0 0.4 times 8 hundredths, 8 times 4 is 32. You don't have to multiply um, by the zeros. Eight times You can say 8 times 0 is 0. Now, in the problem, how many numbers are behind a decimal point? Count them. 1, 2, Three. One, two, three. The answer should be 32 thousandths. You can put a zero there, but it's 32 thousandths. Are there any questions? Write this down. Not just the answer, how to get the answer. You should have the underlines under the problems. Number 21. 5 times 5 is 25. Put down a 5, carry a 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Then you could say 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0. How many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is where some of you messed up. 1, 2, three, four, five. You've got to put another zero on that blank. So in that one, it is zero, 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 seven, five. Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. It's seventy-five hundred thousands. Any questions on that problem? Okay. In number 22, put your decimal point straight up in the quotient. How many sixes are in a five? Zero. How many sixes are in a 54? Nine. It's nine tenths. Any questions? Number 23. Oh, no. Can two fifths subtract four fifths? No. It needs help. And 5 says, I will help you. I will turn into 4 and 5 fifths. 5 fifths combines forces with 2 fifths, making it the mighty 7 fifths. 7 fifths minus 4 fifths is 3 fifths. 
4 minus 3 is 1. 1 and 3 fifths. Landon, write this down instead of playing with a paper clip. In number 24, you are dividing with a decimal. 5 hundredths. We move it out. 1, 2. You move this one the same number. It's like multiplying it by 100, multiplying by 100. Now, how many fives are in a five? One. Subtract. Bring down. How many fives are in a zero? Two. None. Subtract. Bring down. How many fives are in a 25? Five. So the answer is 10 and 5 tenths. Now I did all of these problems in less than 15 minutes. And I did it not real fast. You should be able to get all of these problems done in a class period when you are given these problems. You'll have another one next week.